What up, YouTube? How's it going? Welcome back to another anime reaction. Today, we're going to be reacting to Samurai Champloo episode 25. So, my plan is to end it basically this week. So, I'll watch 25 today, post it tomorrow, and then I'll watch, tw I'll watch 26 the next the day after I upload it and then just put it up on Friday, which means I've completed that. And Blue Lock's going to be done, I think, in two weeks. I looked it up, it was 24 episodes. We're on episode 22. 23 is coming up. So, after that, next week, 24. And basically we're done with that right so i'll try to catch up after this i'll try to catch up with um trigun and then i'm gonna try to catch up with attack on titan too so i really want to re react to attack on titan i still haven't seen the first episode yet either so i should still be able to catch up i don't think there's that many episodes out there maybe two or three i should be able to catch up real fast honestly but anyways in the last episode i think we're in uh itsuki island or nagasaki we're close to there right um we get close to seizo right so seizo that's the interesting guy but at the beginning we get introduced to this guy i forgot his name his name's a blank in my head um he's a strong guy right and they want him to go after um mugen and Jean. but i'm not sure what's the reason why they're after them is it because they're trying to go after seizo because it's revealed they learned that Fu was going after uh seizo so they basically let her run amok try to find him we learn about Fu's past Fu, um on her mother's deathbed she was told that her father's probably still alive right so she decided to go find him well she didn't decide to she wanted to always try to find him but she was reluctant right until she met mugen and jean she's like you know what i think this could work out let's do this shit right you see they all shared her past and stuff like that mugen something pretty simple but jean's pretty deep right you see like after he killed uh, his master you know he's just been traveling just trying to figure out what to do in life just trying to find a purpose so yeah, I could I could totally relate to that, right? Um, anyways, you see um, Fu, she splits up with them, and then you see this that samurai dude uh, meets Jean and Mugen, and basically says, "I'm gonna have to kill you too. She's gonna die, but you're gonna have to die too." And you see this other group too that's after them, but I think they catch up to Fu when Fu goes to that island and tries to find a father. So I can't wait to see what happens. So if you enjoy this reaction, like, subscribe, share, comment, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. All the links will be in the description. I'll put a playlist up here for um, the Samurai Shampoo, Sham, bleh, Samurai Shampoo reactions. And I'm currently streaming Hogwarts Legacy on Twitch. So check that out. That link will be in the description. And let's get right into this. All right, then pull up, old man. Oh shit, his movements—they're too fast. Well, this will be fun. Oh shit. Oh, damn! That's insane. He almost didn't see it. He's blocking it. Mmm. Oh shit. It ain't gonna work on again. Oh, nice diversion. But do you think he'll still notice? Interesting. Mm. You utilize erratic movements that prevent anyone from predicting them. Oh! Don't tell me he cut him. Oh! I <laughs> knocked him in the uh, water. Now it's Jean's turn. The student able to take down Inchiro Maria. <laughs> Shit's about to get interesting. You know about that. I see. You're with the Shogunate. That was close. Oh, knocked her out. Okay, good. At least it wasn't something more explicit. Faster. Oh, he used the water. That's uh, cool. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Wait, they're on the wall? With the air? How in the fuck is he doing this? Oh. Inviting Mugen. What? Can't you see we're kind of busy here? If you don't hurry up, bad things might happen to her. Go. Huh? Okay. Gene will handle him. I'll handle this. All right. No, cool. You go. <laughs> Take care of Fu. Oh shit. Which of you is going to fight me? Just don't let him kill you. 
<laughs> oh. Yes, sir. How do you know the Muju style? You hadn't killed Maria. The Muju style would be something that I alone am the master of. Oh. So then, you're Kagetoki Kalia. You want to turn Mujushin Kenjutsu into a band of assassins? You're asking me to walk up mm. in the darkness. The period of the warring states is over. This country is at peace now. There is no need for our style of martial arts. One that teaches how to kill. Martial arts schools are in decline. You're ordering me to kill my own pupil? Oh, shit. I am planning to pass my dojo on to you. Cannot Damn. Do this. Oh, shit. Her skills have grown well. Damn. Just that face. He had to realize it. So that's how it went down. I thought it was like a one on one duel shit. Regardless of the past, there's no escaping that it's your destiny to die by my hand. Since it is destiny, my goodness. Let's begin this. Okay, let's, let's do this. Of God is all about. Oh. I really didn't. What's this? You again? He made me promise that I wouldn't do anything to you until I got to the church. But it's so hard. I want to kill him so bad. And there he is right there under my nose and it's driving me crazy! My dude is so weird. For what purpose would a man like you stoop to becoming the Shogunate's dog? You think that a man can live by his sword skills alone in this day and age? True. But the way they described it with the era of peace. You have a lord worth risking your life for? You know as well as I that the only thing any lord values is self-preservation. Honor means nothing. They think they have used me, but it is I who have used them. Oh. The age of the samurai will most likely be coming to an end soon. And although I hate to admit this, it's become painfully apparent I was born into the wrong era. Hmm. Shit. You. Oh, shit. They're fighting on the boat. Oh, scratched him on the chin. Oh, shit. I want to see how this ends. Oh, this is sexy. The way they're fighting. Your skills are almost on par with my own. Damn, now that's something. It will be by a razor thin margin, but you will lose. Oh shit! Oh, took it in the hand. There we go. He took the hit to stab him, kill him. My man swam all the way there. Just hang in there a tiny bit longer. You'll be put out of your misery soon enough. Mugen's the worst. The last thing he'd care about is saving a hostage. Oh, really? but he is coming. Well, if that's true, then I may as well kill the hostage right now. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> He had to beat her up. There's always the option of leaving you only half dead. <laughs> My man Mugen came in to save the day. Sorry, buddy. Time to give her back now. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy now. We finally meet at last. So who the hell are you? We happen to be in charge of a raw sugar ship. Oh shit, okay. That's how it tracks back. When you and Mukuro robbed it. My oldest brother ended up like this thanks to you. Damn. When we returned to Satsuma, they blamed us for the raid and drove us out of town. It was the desire to hunt you down and kill you, you worthless piece of shit. You know, about that ugly brother of yours. Huh? <laughs> I just sent his ass to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Whether this little girl lives or dies doesn't mean a damn thing to either one of us. Shut up. 
Look, I'll put down my sword, but in return, you gotta let go of the girl. We'll do it then. Get out of here. You gotta go meet your sunflower dude. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of this guy. That crap. Listen to me. I'm gonna be pissed off if we came all this way for nothing. True. Lost. Here, what is he? I ain't gonna die. Have some faith in me, will you? <laughs> Very well. But I think I should tell you that I intend to kill you slowly. Oh. Oh, shit. Did I cut a little too deeply that time? Don't give up on me now. I'm just starting to have fun. You bastard. Oh, shit. My boy Chain lost. All right, gang. So we just got done with episode 25. And wow, so they're going up against Katia, right? I finally remembered his name. I think that's a name I'll be able to remember, right? And you see he confronts them. You see Mugen goes at him at first, but like Mugen, Mugen's just outclassed, right? And you see he praised Mugen's like fighting style, which I really love. It's extremely liberal in my opinion, which I really do love. But Mugen just um just can't get the one up on him, right? And then you see um that weird looking dude, the brother, uh, the zombie guy comes out of nowhere talking about, you know, we have Fu, so one of you guys better come rescue her. Jean decides to stay. Mugen tends to go. And it turns out Wikadia was the one that ordered... Um, what happened was the reason why that Master versus uh, Jean happened was uh, Kadia ordered it, right? He wanted... I'm not sure why he wanted to kill him, but I guess I guess he just wanted to kill him. But anyways, yeah. Uh, he, want, he wanted to turn the martial arts into an assassin style. You see in this... Uh, era of peace you know samurais are pretty much dying right so there's really not no need for them so maybe assassination would be something good right to be put to good use for the government right so yeah i see why that happened so now they're facing off against each other and then you see um they go at it and Kadia wins against uh jean and then we see on uh, mugen's side and fu's side uh, mugen faces the brother uh on the boat and he kills him underwater he took a stab to his hand to basically stab him in the stomach pretty cool and then they get we turn out the group is um you know during him and M mukuro they robbed that ship it was them on that group. uh there was that group on that ship so that was pretty interesting it's cool to get that uh revelation about it right the, uh, the actual people on it they want revenge so that's cool so and then you see fu gets freed up fu goes to um the house she's in the house but we got to see if he's in there or not and then you see mugen he basically su saves fu um, those ways, uh, th basically gets rid of his sword and the guy's trying to get his revenge. He's hurting Mugen, but I'm pretty sure Mugen might get the one up on him, right? Since it's the last episode, are they going to die or are they going to live? I wonder what's going to happen. So I don't know. Are they going to live or die? So that's the most interesting question. But anyways, I can't wait to watch that last episode. So if you enjoyed this reaction, like, subscribe, share, comment, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. All the links will be in the descriptions and love and peace.